Welcome to the Civil War Collectible Channel. My name is Steve Munson and I am the Civil War Guru. Today we have a wonderful Confederate short artillery sword. Now at first look, for some of you folks that don't know anything about Confederate short swords, it looks like a gladiator sword. And that's what they were styled after. This particular sword here we believe was made in Georgia. A lot of the experts think it was made by McElroy, but I am certain that it is a Georgia product. It has the heavy copper content in the handle. The handle is cast copper and bronze mixture, and it's real crude. If you notice the star, you can barely make out the C and the S. But these handles are, are hollow inside, so these are the ones that you see on the market where there's tons of fakes on this. So we gotta be real careful on these type of swords. They are extremely, the originals are extremely crude and they'll have a deep red copper content to them. And they're easy to distinguish between the fake counterparts. As you can see on this one, it looks like somewhere over the years, they use a disturbed green paint with. Of course, the green paint can easily be taken off. This is a wonderful, untouched Confederate short artillery sword and the reason these were short is the gentleman that loaded the cannons would be wearing them and if they were charged they wouldn't have as much trouble getting it out of the scabbard as a long sword and they were double-edged so these are real significance I always had a soft spot in my heart for the short artillery swords so this condition of this one is about uh, the normal for what you see in the Confederate short artillery swords. The value of this one, I'm gonna put in between $3,000 and $3,500. So from the old guru, have a great day. 